Finding a passenger at the airport, it can be very frustrating. Have you ever had the experience where you're trying to find a passenger, you can't find them, and then that the guy in the yellow vest tells you to move on? Then you got to go all the way around and all the way around and come back and look for that passenger. Well, both Uber and Lyft have come up with a PIN system, PIN, P-I-N, personal identification number. And in this video, I'm going to share with you what exactly that is, where they're launching it, and what it looks like down the road. And stick around. At the end of the video, I'm going to share with you why I prefer the rematch system. I prefer the rematch system over this new PIN system. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy, and today we're going to talk about airport pickups. Airport pickups. You know, sometimes the airport pickups can be the most difficult because if you're a driver, you may have waited up to an hour to come and make that pickup. So you got a little bit of stress. You want to make sure you got a long ride going in the right direction. And the passengers can be a little stressed because they've been traveling, they're hauling all this luggage around. A lot of times they have to haul it up to a garage and, uh, and then wait. And if you don't make it, you don't make the connection, that can be very frustrating. And sometimes just two people stressed out getting in the car together, that can be an experience. So let's look at the new PIN system offered by both Uber and Lyft. First, let's talk about the theory of the PIN system. So right now, Lyft has a couple of ways to make it easier for you to make a pickup. First of all, they show you the picture of the, of the passenger. If the passenger has provided a profile picture, you've got that. So you can kind of look and look for, I, look, I tend to look for the hair. Make sure the hair matches up. It's the right color, right style. Um, and we've got the amp, right? One of these things, right? One of those things, the amp. So the amp is very helpful because it can show a specific color and then the passenger can look at the color and make sure the colors match. Uber doesn't have the pictures, but they do have the beacon and the beacon is helpful because it again allows the passenger to match the color. The theory of the, uh, the pin system is that the, pa the passengers will, uh, when they request a car, they're gonna get a pin, a number, and it's gonna show up on their screen and then they can uh, go into any car, give the driver the PIN number, the, pin, the, the driver will then tap in the number, and boom, the contact information and where the destination are then preloaded, and boom, you're off and running. So it really uh, sounds like, it's kind of like a taxi line at the airport, right? Where the, the cars are all lined up, and the first person shows up, they get in the car and they go. Except in this case, they get in the car, give the PIN number, and then they go. Number two, let's talk about Lyft. Lyft's program is called First Match. And as you can see here, we got a couple of screenshots of what the uh, actual screens look like. You can see that the passenger uh, clicks on Get Code, and then they've got the code. And then from there, they can go get into the first available car, give that code, and boom, you're off and running. Now the Lyft program is currently being tested in Portland, Oregon, and in New York at the LaGuardia Airport. Number three is Uber's program. And uh, Uber's program is currently available only in Portland. So Portland has both Uber and Lyft using the system. LaGuardia in New York has just the Lyft. And as you can see in the screenshot here, it works very much the same way, where the person would click on let's go, then they've got the, uh, the code, in this case, a six digit code. And then you can see the screen where the uh, driver would tap in the number, okay? So uh, what I'm showing you now is some of the, some of the verbiage that uh, Uber has used to explain it. And if you read the second paragraph, it says, recognizing the potential to extend this innovation to airports, last year we adapted and tested it at Bangalore, India with successful results. This led us to where we are today, making pin matching available to transportation TNC companies, customers at US airports for the first time. And as I said, that is currently just in Portland, all right? And they don't really have a name for it. They just call it our pin matching solution. So that's the pin matching solution from Uber. Number four, the future of the pin system. So I'm gonna compare this to Rematch, okay? Because in, in the San Francisco airport, we had this great system called Rematch, 
where I could drive, drop off a passenger, if I was, to say, in Terminal 2, and then there was a passenger that wanted a car in Terminal 2, I would immediately get that ping, make that pickup in like 30 seconds, and we would both be on our way. This saved the passenger from waiting 10 minutes for a car to come from a staging lot. And me, I earned the right to get that ride because I was dropping off a passenger at the airport. Well, in San Francisco, they completely changed all of that. And now all the pickups are done up on the garage and all the cars have to come from the staging lots, which are approximately 10 minutes away in either direction, right? So I don't know if the pin system is going to come to San Francisco or not, but it sounds to me like it's not going to be any benefit to the drivers because the drivers are still going to have to line up and wait, right? And the passengers, great for them, they can just get into the, whatever car is available and, and take off. So this is why I highly prefer the rematch system. I used to drive to the airport and I was excited because I knew I could drop off a passenger and then maybe pick one up, which seemed to happen about 40% of the time. Now. I just go drop somebody off and I head back to the Mission District and that takes about 12 minutes. So I'm, I'm losing that 12 minutes where in the past I could have had a passenger going on a, on a medium to a, long, to a long trip. So bring back rematch. It made sense. It's used, it uses technology and uh, it saves time for both the passenger and the driver. How will this pin work out? Well, they're testing it and only time will tell. Only time will tell. We'll see, uh, but they started this in May and June and July, and they haven't expanded it to any other markets. So, key takeaways: Uber and Lyft have a new pin system. They're testing it out in a few markets. Laguardia uh, is where Lyft is is right now, and then the Portland market has both Uber and Lyft trying this this pin system. Jay says he I prefer the rematch system because that saves time for both the passenger and the driver but at least the pin makes it a little bit easier for the passenger. Everybody, if you liked the video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to our channel, get the latest in the rideshare industry from a driver's perspective, from the industry perspective, and uh, we'll keep you informed and we'll keep showing you as much as we can how to make more money in less time. We'll tell you what the, we think the future uh, holds for the industry, all kinds of great stuff. All right, you guys have a great day. It's Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. Be safe out there.